Hey everyone, Frank here. Glad you could join us. Uh, this week we've got a special guest, Nick, and he's got quite a bit of experience uh, rock climbing, so he's got a bunch of his own equipment. Glad to have someone come along that can carry some of the ropes, you know. <laughs> We're going pretty deep into this mine, so we've got to take four bags of ropes with us. And uh, he'll show us some tricks and stuff, and we'll learn a little bit more about uh, what it takes to get into some of these deep uh, mines with, uh, with ropes. All right, so we're here with Nick today, and we're, uh, we're going down this uh, shaft above the, the Union Mine. We tried to get up in the bottom, but it didn't work too well. I figured I was just a weenie, <laughs> and uh, the expert here is going to show me how it's done and climb up the real steep wall like a fly, but it didn't happen. Nope. <laughs> I guess I'm not as terrible of a rock climber as I thought. No, you're doing fine. Well, it's good to have Nick here. He give me a few pointers so I can learn a little bit more. Uh, internet has its limitations. <laughs> you, you can learn just enough to get yourself into trouble sometimes. Teach you all the wrong ways to do things. Yeah. Yeah, I figured I'd learn enough bad habits on my own. I don't need to look up any. You want me to just go up to the. Little... Yeah, you can just go to the left there and just kind of continue on down there. Um, and then you can just bring the rope down that way and uh, whatever. Make it up as you go along. Ah, nice to have a little company on these expeditions there because you can bring in a whole lot more rope. So we got four lengths of rope today, so it's pretty easy. We got a couple guys to handle all the rope. And uh, Nick's got a, something called a Grigri, which is a little different than my Petzl rig. That's uh, probably more common. But, uh, I don't know the rig seems to work a little better. I guess so long as you can come down without falling, that's uh, all it's got to do. All right, so we're kind of down where uh, there's a big wall they built here, and the reason they did that is they wanted all this ore to go down this way, or it's probably waste rock, I suppose, because this was a vent. I think this is a ventilation shaft they built here. So there's a big wall here, and then so the ore would have went in, in behind that wall. Um, but there's you know there's a mine level here, there's a big stope here. So look at that ladder, and uh, yeah, it goes way up there. But we're not going to be going up that ladder. Uh, Nick thinks it looks a little sketchy. <laughs> This. Yeah, this is pretty cool here. This is the way that I was down here before. So Nick's just going to come past this obstruction and we're going to go down and have a look at this passageway. This is over top of where we were before. There's an easier way to get down here, which we'll be taking. But probably get a good shot looking down here. Like spiders, yeah. Yeah, there's an easier way to get down there, which we will be taking. But not even that steep, but there's a level just below this, eh? Yeah. It actually wouldn't be bad going down there. It's not really steep, but but then you might slide over that way. You better off going that way. It's way really easier. But um, the level continues because it was forcing our butt some water. The level continues this way here. There's a rope laying here. Looks like a cross-cut level, huh? Yeah, hey, there's a ladder I trust. That's because of a fall, you're only falling three feet. <laughs> no, go ahead. No, thanks. <laughs> I'll let you go first. Yeah, no 
Yeah. You know, if you break a leg, it's not a big deal, but these cameras are freaking expensive. Right? <laughs> Well, you wouldn't be much fun hauling you out of here if you busted your leg. Yeah, so this is a, a mine level. So this is the top of the scope here. This car. We're going to be down there. There's a... Below that, there's a level there. So this is the top of that big scope. As far up as your went in this park. Across to there. This mine is really famous for all kinds of really cool uh, stalls and yeah. a lot of carpentry work. There's a lot of wood in here. I wonder where this goes here. Nope, oh, this is going to end here. There's a little pot there. Somebody must have made themselves a little lunch. Calcium fiber right in the ground. Calcium fiber right in the ground. A little kick because we're going to ruin it. But looks like a teapot or something and a shovel. Okay. Oh, and then there's an ore pass going down. Huh. That doesn't even look that steep. Okay, that's not bad. With a nice rope and everything. I'm not going to go, go for too much of a ride here. Oh, these ladders look in good shape. It's not like you've trusted them. Oh well, yeah, we were down. I was, we were going to be down right at that level there. I was down at that level the other day. If we continue the way we're going, we'll be right at the bottom. There's a level right there. We'll be right there. Huh. And then there's more levels that go down. Like we will, we'll be able to look up here and see this ladder and you think, crazy to go up there. But we're already there, so... <laughs> and I wonder if this is just going to go... Looks like a big drop off there though. That just goes a little ways. Doesn't look that steep. Well, I think the loose part of it doesn't look that steep. Once you get off that edge, you probably want to yeah, get all the slide down there. So probably shouldn't go down there. No. Nope. We'll just stay up here. Perfect. Probably be okay, but there's no reason to go down there. I'd just be looking at a big hole and we'll be down there soon enough anyhow. Yeah, might have been some geologists doing some work or something in here. I think this, this that poly rope lasts a long time. It could be from the 70s for a while. It could be pretty old. There's a lot easier ways of getting down there than that ladder though. I'm ahead of Nick here a little bit. I'll we'll see where he's up. Where he's at. There's a lot of, a lot of wood here that's... Oh. Falling down from all those workings up there. Not really dangerous, but. Uh, you're climbing down that big rig and tangle and stuff. Something falls. It's gonna hurt. Did you grab that rope? No, uh, I just got the camera here. We'll just go for a walk here. If you, or you can even leave it there. We'll go for a little tour of this level here. There. We'll probably end up going down there next. It's pretty rotten there. Huh? There we go. I think I've been here before, but I'm not positively sure, but we'll have a look. I believe I well, we're not on the highway to hell, but the uh, destination seems to be the same. <laughs> the same, Nick, I think you're a smarter rock climber than I am because you always let me go first. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you want me to just kind of pull you over this way? It's not very far this way, but a little. <laughs> okay. I got you the one. <laughs> okay. Okay.
Yeah, pull a couple things out of it if you want. Have a look. See if you can find anything. A big fat rat or something. Maybe. Looks like she's a kind of a pretty damp level. Upside down box. There's probably not likely to be much of anything in there. No live dynamite. I haven't seen much in this, you know, usually you only see like a stick or two here and there. Yeah, she's pretty, pretty rotten. A little exploratory, uh, yeah. No date on them? No. Nope. Uh, dates are all chipped off the corners. Yeah. It's not that usual to find a date, sometimes you find them. Nope. Yeah. So we'll carry on. Doesn't look that steep. We were just waiting for my climbing partner Nick and this is a real cool level that we found. So that yeah, wasn't too crazy coming down here. It's kind of an ore pass. Looked like there was a, maybe a manway here. There's the chute on this side and a manway on their side. So Nick's got the Greek. Greek does not have much trouble coming down here. Yeah, it's easier to slide over this way then you don't have to go straight down. <laughs> <laughs> the cliff, that's what I did anyway. So. Yeah, there's all kinds of rigging levels here. There's a railway here. Going uh, this way here. There's uh, two railways going this way and th and three going this other way. So, a pretty cool area in here. So. Like I say, it's just so much easier and safer having these ropes. You know, this isn't crazy steep or something. It's not even stressful, really. You got the equipment, you have the confidence in it. A whole bunch of graffiti here. Oh, 1933, which was the big year when they done the big explore here. They had lots of exploration in 1933 here. 41. See, that looks fresher. It is from 41. Yeah. And uh, 33 is a little more faded. Yeah. Well, they didn't find any gold here. I didn't see any sacks of gold on the way in either. Oh, this is another path here. There's all kinds of these little, all kinds of little uh, exploration tunnels in here. So we found something really cool in here. Hey, look at this pretty coffee can. Oh, they must like their coffee back then. Look at the size of that big thing. Big bend. Ooh, that would look nice to museum. Right, big floor blend. <laughs> yeah, nice shape, eh? Not bad. That's pretty cool. All right, so we got. Another pass going down here. Oh yeah, she's a steep bastard too. Oh, anyone down there? That goes down there, is it? Send a shovel down. I think that's connected to that one we're looking at maybe. Right? Going up. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, that would be the same one for sure. This looks like a major, major dump, you know. I think that's a big, probably the main ore pass going down. Yeah. I don't think I wanted to go down there, the rope, eh? No. Looks like a pretty long trip. Yeah, a neat ore can. I wonder what this was, it was some kind of, oh, it's just a piece of wood. It's pretty fragile. It'd be cool to save, I've never seen one like that. No. Yeah. That's the biggest coffee bucket I've ever seen. Brains coffee? Braids, braids coffee. <laughs> so I'm thinking going the other ways, it must be a pretty major it be a pretty major level in here. Gotta be. We just went to the left. And there's a whole bunch more to the right. So we'll leave that there and we'll see what we can find. That's where we came down. We only got one more rope left. So we only have one more place we can go down and then we'll be out of rope. Uh-oh. 
Looks like we've got a bit of a cave in here. Hope we can get around it. Let's see. Oh, it looks like we can get around that. Oh yeah, no problem. You want to go ahead of me there? Looks good. A little skinny, eh? Not too bad. I don't see no tracks in here, eh? Oh, another. Lots of dynamite boxes. Oh yeah, we can probably continue on the same. So this was the main level, eh? Just got caved in here because a bunch of these works. Oh, that's neat. I'm not going to go up too far in a little bit. Oh, remember when I was looking down there and I said that there's another level there? That's right there, as we were coming down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, it might even be easier for us to go back that way and they just catch the rope on the way up. Is there anything ahead of you we can have a look at? It's down to that way down here. Lots of explosive boxes in this mine. Eh? So oh yeah, so I might as well, you, you want to go that way and I'll go this way? Yeah, so it's kind of joined up, so there must have been quite a, quite a bit of ore in here because they wouldn't have done this otherwise. And all the ore is gone, so I'm sure it all went down this big ore pass. Oh yeah. Ore shoot here. That's an old ore chute too. So this would have been, this is part of the original part of the mine. When it first got started, I'm sure. Doesn't look like a very big deposit though. It must have been really soft because of the way they put the stalls and everything in here. But they got all the gold out of here, so. Oh, it's good and flat again. Yeah. Well, there'll be more scopes in here. Just it was so soft there, it just crumbled in, hey? Well, this is the last place we have to check out, so it could go for a long ways or for a short ways. That's the exciting thing about these mines, you just never know what you might find when you come around the next corner. We're winding back and forth through this. this uh, Oh, we have another branch here. The railway truck's been gone. Might end, but we gotta go to the right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably better if you go ahead. It's better to have something in the picture. Yep. Um, more graffiti. Numbers. Nice and cool down here when we first came in, it was pretty hot, eh? Yeah. Just a beautiful temperature here. Now look at the size of the drill in here, eh? They drove some big drills in here. Looks like we might be running out of mine here, huh? There goes on the bend. Oh, good. They all got in sometime. Look at that stuff, it looks just like snow, but it's not, eh? Some kind of crystals or something. I don't think I'd try it with my coffee, though. <laughs> it's good. It's sugary. I bet you it'd be more salty than sugary, but I wouldn't want to try. That's the end of our... Yeah. Yeah, we're finding all kinds of explosive boxes. Looks like some kind of a tube or something. This is square tube or something. Square rod. 
We're hoping this goes anyways, because this is the last branch we have to check out. No. So that's it. It's as far down we can get to this side. Oh, well, this one. Oh, there's a bunch of, uh, there's an ore pass going down here. Ooh, it looks pretty nasty. It goes like straight down, too. I don't think we'll be going down there. No, I've never been to this level. This is a huge mine, though. Well, you keep finding more and more levels, and it's no surprise you find new levels. It's like Phoenix. So here's a, uh, see all those dots on the on the ribs there? Yeah, loads. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that, eh? Looks pretty well constructed too up there. Looks really solid. That one's a silly big one. Wow. This is really going a lot of directions. I don't know how extensive any of it will be, but... Here's the main level here. Fairly dry on this part too. Well, we might be running out of mine here pretty quick on this side. Well, that'll be the end here. There's two different uh, ways that this works. There's one kind of uh, configuration you have for going down, one for going up. So what we're going to do is just going to cheat. We're going to stick this right here. Because we're going to use it in a minute. Usually you stick it on your belt. We're not going to go very far and then we're going to go back up. So, there, this is the going down. These have got a little bit more length than this, but yeah, I think I need a little more light. Camera doesn't like too much light. Okay, so. So we're down here, just basically straight down here, so. We're just going to show you the configuration, how it change over to, for going ascending. So we just take our uh, hand ascender here, clips onto the line like so. Now you should have a safety from here onto your rope. So if you let go of your ascender, you got one more thing holding you on. But you don't really need it because the rope here, what we do is have a pulley here. So we run the rope through this pulley. And it's hooked onto the handle sender. So that's hooked onto the back of the petzl rig. So now you just go like that and you pull up with your hand and you pull this down at the same time. So then that just uh, and yeah, so that just comes through this handle sender. So it works really well. So you got your feet, you just kind of push back with your feet. See it's a good thing about that helmet because you keep hitting my head on rocks. <laughs> then you just work your way up. Works just fine. We're going up, you don't swallow nothing like that. As long as your rope is tied on securely, <laughs> you're all right. So that's as far as we got in this mine. We can't go up any further down. It went down about well, 30 feet straight down this ore chute, and it went down at an angle, totally plugged. So um, that's as far as uh, we can get in this section. We still have some levels of this mine we haven't explored because there's a ladder that goes up in the bottom of the mine, it goes way up, it's rotted. And we've never found the top of that ladder, so. But uh, there's so many, so many passageways and, and stuff in this mine, you're never going to find everything, so. You find what you can, what's safe, and then uh, the rest is uh, uh, unexplored territory. <laughs> well, so you're next on a pretty nice job rigging this up here. Keep us safe, you know, you never want to trust any of these rotten timbers, so he's got two of them. But the, the load's equal on each. And then we've got some boards and stuff, so we we don't have the rope getting uh, you know damaged on any sharp rock or anything like that. So yeah, it's, we're going up a moderate slope. It's pretty good using that. And we're going to do the switch over with the greasy. They're a little bit de different than the Petzl rig. <laughs> kind of a lighter sport model, I guess, and the Petzl rig is more of a commercial yep. heavy-duty thing. So sometimes nice to have things a little lighter, but 
more of a climbing device. Did you take a long time to get off rope? I noticed mine comes off pretty quick. Oh, well, that's my sender there, isn't it? Put that a little bit on there. Be careful, it'll lead me down here. That's a petzl product too, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright. Is that my sender or no? Nope. Oh. Me, nope, it isn't, no. Nope. Me, you, same. <laughs> yeah. Same color. Look at all that colorful uh, rig in there. It looks like you'd be in a gay pride parade or something. Okay. <laughs> okay. Up, up, up. Oh, awesome. Watch how the pros do it here, huh? Eh? Mixed on lots of rock climbing. All I ever do is going in and out of mines, but same principle. What size of rope do you usually use in that Grigri? Um, 8-9 mil. Oh yeah, yeah, this like is 11, so... Sport climbing. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the pretzel needs 11, eh, or 10 and a half to 11. It won't take that light stuff. Yeah. Well, we use it just for, for delaying, mostly, so... Yeah. It still bites and you can let people down easy. That's real, that's how you do it, right? So we only got one little steep part left to go. And then it's pretty easy going up there. We're on our last rope here, so there's the... You see there's the knot right there. We're tying the two ropes together. And there's the very last part we got to climb up, so... All right, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the trip with me and Nick to the Union Mine, and uh, we'll see you next week on Exploring Abandoned Mines.